I'm in a frosty reception. I just did this quest, but I'm doing it again because it took me ages. You have arrived at Bitterspine Palace, home of one of the Prince of Frost's vassals. You proceed with caution. Whether you're expected by the Baroness or not, the Prince of Frost's cold reputation is known throughout the Feywild. The Prince of Frost stands before a throne overlooking the crowded ballroom, the Baroness beside him. However, the third throne on the dais stands empty. The air chills as the Arch Fey points a finger toward you. Why have you disturbed me with your presence, Outlander? If I may, my prince, says the Baroness, a connection in the summer court sent word of the Outlander's arrival. I have drunk and I have heard they will not disturb the court. Ocean loads extravagant parties such as this one. Leave it. He's likely to be avoiding the crowd somewhere. Perhaps out on the windward balcony. So. You hear a bell chime in the ballroom as you pull this lever. Long and short of it. I um, don't need to go in there. Long and short of it is uh, we've got to get a flower out of this place in order to get Lord Arden back. You've got that frosty dude down there who's, um, well, Lord of Prince of Frost, who might be the mysterious stranger we spoke to or saw speaking in the last um, quest I've got a this theory This door on leads out to the windward balcony. From the dim gems on either side, you can see that it has been sealed to prevent guests from following Osha outside. And the Lord Squire of Frost's Icebrook asks lady. you to bring an urgent message to the Baroness. La 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 Reasons la 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 This must remain a secret from the Prince of Frost. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Talk to her. She, um... She says she'll meet the Baroness us in the refuses to take this your message in front of the prince this. and all her guests. She tells you to meet her downstairs in the wine cellar. This quest is quite buggy as well. A lot of the doors don't work if you double click on them. This one in particular, I can't double click on this door like I normally do to go through it. So I have to select it with the uh, targeting button I use to find kind of distant things. And once it's selected, I have to hit the pickup button. There's a head waiter as well, just have a word with him. Need to get to the treasure vault. Attempt a skill check. I tried this last time, failed, but I do have a charisma item, so I'm just gonna put my charisma item and try to intimidate. No, it still doesn't work. <laughs> I haven't um, got that much intimidate. She's back out and she's the door to the, the treasure here. vault is bolted shut. Perhaps one of the wait staff knows how to get inside. And this is kind of preamble to the previous quest I did. She's talking about how her husband has gone. Relief washes but over the she's Baron got a letter saying he's okay. She scans the letter. But of course, it's not. Baron is alive and safe. True letter. But whatever he got himself into bear. has kept him away from home. And uh, so that's that. I've got to yeah now go up here. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Bloody. Yeah, I failed the Intimidate check. You, there is another way. You can talk to him and he gives you a quest. So that's what I'm going to do with the head waiter. Talk to him quickly, get a quest. Is there any way I can change your mind? Yes, there's a spider that has been magicked up by the... The head waiter Lord will unlock the door to the treasure vault if you take care of an ice spider that the Prince of Frost conjured to keep sleepy waitstaff on their toes. Nasty boss, isn't it? If you fall asleep on the job... There's a spider that kills you. This couch is the recommended sleeping place. You type sleep forward slash sleep. As soon as you shut your eyes, you hear a cold chittering. Open. The ice spider is already upon you. The ice spider shatters and dissolves into a snowy mist. Now that the creature has been destroyed, the head waiter will unlock the treasure vault for you. So using sleep like that, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this chain you have to use dance like that, because dance is one of the... Um, yeah, everybody everybody has a different dance as well, and lots of different dances. You've even got dance too. Dance too. Oh, la 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 la. But yeah, talk to this dude first. Has been retired. Grateful that the eye spider is no longer around to nip at his staff's heels, the head waiter gladly opens the door to the treasure vault. Water is flood out of the treasure vault. The Nasty boss. 
that's the other lever. You hear a bell chime in the ballroom as you pull this lever. And that secret door here has a chest, but you need to have pick lock. I can't open it. Can't be bothered with the piles of gold. Go through the picture. Teleports you back. And then another of the Notice bugs. Notice a bizarre here. painting depicting the wintertide ballroom. To your surprise, you're able to step through it and into the ballroom itself. So yeah, this the left one doesn't look like it's lit to me. It is. The court advisor it stares off ocean. into the distance. At the sound of your footsteps, he jolts, turns around, and lets out a dejected sigh. Didn't manage to intimidate him either. No, I didn't think so. Osha scoffs at you. Refuses to send over the air of darkness. Thankfully, he's not on his own plane. Because he seems like a nice enough guy. He just doesn't like parties, so he goes out here on the balcony in order to be on his own. I've done that before. Imagine me all that. You don't expect somebody to come and kill you with an axe when they do. Osha collapses to the floor. You grab the Aurora Garden key as he fades away. He'll wake up a little dazed on the plane of air. Without any hard feelings, you hope. Yeah, once you know what to do, this is much quicker. Finding out what to do took me ages. That's kept on going the wrong way. Oh no, you see, he's, I just kept on going the wrong way. He says, going the wrong way. I don't need to go back into the cellar, do I? I go into the garden now. You step out into the snowy garden. A peculiar patch of grass grows in its center, along with a flower that oh. emanates a magical, chilling aura. The flower crumples away into nothing in it the palm crumples. of your hand and instantly regrows in the soil. Is it made out of paper? The newly sprouted flower glows blindingly for a moment and, unexpectedly, a shockwave rocks the palace. Oops. This stuff has grown since... What was that? Back in the center, can drop down and talk to um. To your surprise, all of these guys. The ballroom is now covered in twisting vines and familiar flowers. I thought I eradicated those flowers a millennia ago. Now they're everywhere. Snarls the Prince of Frost. Outlander, you will fix this, or I'll turn you into a block of ice. Lady Lazuli informs you that there were only two Aladdin nobles she didn't have to do She knows Yeah, so somebody's got in here that shouldn't be here. That's the, that's the prevailing theory. And in order for me to work out who should be here, I need to talk to this guy, Sir Snowdrift. And he tells me... Look. So Snowdrift tells you that Lord Beryl hmm. was last seen slinking off to the kitchen in search of a fresh bottle of wine. Then he shoes you out of his crowd of adoring nobles. On the way to the kitchen, just stopping in this room here. Oh, let's kill this one. Annoying, none of these mobs in this quest take that gets done. They're all either constructs or... A couple of them, no, actually, but most of them are constructs. Like Talk to this guy as well, I think. I don't know if I absolutely have to. Oh, yeah, he's bugged too, so I've got to target him the same way I targeted him the cellar door. The Chest Countess at the end does not tell you well. anything of note oh, about she, the other party sorry, guests. Sorry, However, she seems quite scandalized by your lack of knowledge about Chef Tartine's famous mulberry tarts. Look 
shit since it's just around here. Where Lord Beryl is. Where's Allegra? I'm not interested in putting in a dance card. Lord Beryl mm. says that Dame Allegra has gone to explore the Prince of Frost's quarters. Speaking with her is the next step in solving this plant puzzle. She's gone to the quarters of the Prince of Frost. Suspicious behaviour. Slightly buggy lever. Yeah, you get a sense maybe they just slightly rush this pack out. And then there'll, there'll be a patch dropping in the next day or so to pick up all of the stuff that doesn't quite work. Hopefully, or like the ladders in um, some of the early quests, this quest will always be slightly broken. A group of palace guards stand at attention to the place of the or it's something to do with my mouse. Many theories. An Eladra noble stands at the base of the stairs that lead to the Prince of Frost's quarters. This must be Dame Allegra, the mysterious newcomer you're looking for. Dame Allegra saw a hooded stranger plant the frosted cerise in the garden. She bids you to follow her there. So she can help you search for clues about the culprit. I actually Frost don't know if I on the have to do this. Clearly, he didn't think anyone would dare to intrude in the Prince of Frost's private quarters. You find yourself in a surprisingly sparse chamber. But even in such a bare room, you know there must be something hidden inside. It's a little bit of dirt the on the Prince of Frost. The on this Frost. fountain turns like a door handle. You need a throwing weapon. Secret passage right, slides open it, along yeah. the back wall. Hidden away in this room stands a sculpture of a woman. Its plaque reads, For my love, in ice you survive. And this journal here has, oh, it's bugged as well. It has some history on um, on the Prince of Frost. Basically, you obviously fell in love with the woman. Prince of Frost had hidden a journal inside a sphere of ice. Somebody took him from the journal. Took details her from memories him. of his long lost love, who died thousands of years ago. As you drop the journal, the frost giant bursts into the room, oh. along with a squad of red cap guards. I don't think I need to kill a frost giant, so I'm just getting out of here. There's a chest as well, but I've already got a named loot out of that chest, got it in the last one. Some sort of plate mail. I'm going to work out what the loot in this area is later. But for now, I'm just going to get on with finishing this. Oh. I feel bad about rushing so much not to kill this frost giant. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out that frost giant and get that chest again. Seems like a waste to have the possibility of loot and be so close to it and just avoid it because you ran away come on it's not like this is going to be a super slow version last time I was in here it was ages this time I'm just like spun through it I'm pretty much at the end so I've definitely got time to kill this lot <laughs> chunk of ferro crystal which I suspect I'll be glad of when I work out what they're for which I haven't yet I suspect they're for upgrading the items where's that plate mail I found let's see if we can have a look at it while I'm running A 
the growth of the blossoming vines has sprung up around the world. When you get close, Here we go. Last fight. Dame Allegra stands in the center of the garden. She lets out a low chuckle. Oh, how did you like my little prank? <laughs> it was good fun. Riling up that gloomy prince always entertains my master here, so much. Allegra transforms before her eyes. Recognizing you. Night caused such trouble for the gatekeeper back in the home reach. Happy to see me, dearie. Good. It'll be for the last time. <laughs> Caden's pants. I think Take that's fun. enough taunting for one day. I'll let my pretty petals finish you off. With a mad cackle, she vanishes. <laughs> in her place. A shambling mound rises to attack. A bit the mass of flowers me. and vines crumbles into ash. Yet it leaves behind one last frosted cerise flower. You pluck the frosted cerise flower from the snow. This time, the bloom stays in the palm of your hand, instead of crumpling away into nothing. So I'm always welcome Return here now, Return to the that's Baroness nice. to tell her what happened. Though the Prince himself would never admit to it, the Baroness tells you he is in your debt for thwarting the night hag scheme. Slightly buggy chest now again. Now that you have the frosted cerise, and that's the plate I got last one time. Step I'll pull this up as well, just Lord in case they're different each time you get them. I still don't know much about the uh, loot in this pack, so I should probably work that out. Oh, I've got to junk something. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.